So in this video I will show you how to operate an azimuth press with a WPC2000 press control, how to clear the LOC fault and how to operate either in inch, single or automatic uh, mode. So this is a 22 ton uh, press from azimuth and it has a WPC2000 press control installed on it. So every time you start the machine, you're going to see the LOC fault, which is a lockout fault uh, from either the e-stop or every time you start the machine. So in order to clear that fault, you need to um, bring the key from the stroke selector key to off and then to the mode of operation you want to go. So I bring it to off and then I'm going to bring it to inch. So that's gonna clear the fault and then you're gonna be able to operate so if you want to operate an inch then you can either just engage with the dual palm button there um, right now the ram is not moving because uh, the motor has not start is not starting started yet so um, I'm gonna start the motor so you can see the motor is starting right now so I have air to the machine, really important to have air to the machine, 80 PSI to it. If not, you're gonna get a fault. So I'm gonna just jog the press. So right now micro inch is on. So I can jog the machine to bottom dead center and then you can adjust uh, your die in there. Um, I'm gonna bring it back up. So that's for inch. Single, um, when you're gonna operate in single, you need to hold the dual palm buttons for the whole stroke. So that way it's gonna go back up. If you release the palm button, it's gonna stop uh, within its cycle. So I'm gonna make a full stroke there. So I am holding the palm button there. If I release them before bottom dead center, the ram's gonna stop. And then I'm gonna get interrupted stroke there. So interrupted stroke is because you interrupted the, uh, the cycle of the machine, so you're gonna get a fault. So in order to clear that fault, you really need to make a full cycle uh, by holding the dual palm button. So the fault is clear there. Automatic, if you wanna operate an automatic, you need to uh, use the prior hack button there and the top stop to stop the automatic mode. So the prior rack, uh, you need to press it, depress it and press the dual palm there and hold it. So right now the press has started. So F15 that you see right now is uh, because I've presetted the counter preset. So the counter preset, you can either raise it or lower it depending on your part counts, but I'm gonna put 30 there. So I'm gonna make 30 stroke and then the press gonna top, uh, stop after 30 stroke. So I'm gonna press the prior rack, hold the dual palm. So I'm gonna cycle. So the press gonna make 30 cycle. And then it's gonna stop and show a F15 fall. So that, that means my counter has been reached. Um, if you don't wanna use a counter, you bring that counter to zero and then the machine will just run in continuous without stopping. So right now what you're seeing is um, the angle SPN there, uh, which is uh, the, the stroke per minute of the machine. Uh, if you want to see the counter, then you can just press the reset select button there it's gonna show the counter. Counter preset is for uh, counting parts. So if you wanna stop the press, you either press the top stop button, it's gonna top stop the press, or the e-stop, which is uh, gonna stop within the cycle. So if I top stop it, so it stops at zero. If I restart the cycle and press the e-stop there, it's gonna stop the motor it's gonna disengage the clutch, and then you're gonna see F50, which is a lockout fault. So if you wanna clear that fault, you depress the e-stop there, you press reset, and then you start all over again. 
bring to off, bring to the mode of operation. Now I see F10 because the motor has stopped. So I start the motor back and that's it.